Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with coconut milk, corned beef, and cabbage. You know, once in a while I get these ideas. Some people call them, you know, wacky, and this is one of them. I thought, what would happen if we did a regular corned beef and cabbage, but instead of the traditional braising liquid, we would use a Thai-style coconut milk red curry combination. So here's what I did. I took a regular four-pound corned beef. You got your fat side, and you got your lean side. So I'm going to start that fat side up. I really don't think it matters. I'm going to pour in a can of coconut milk. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of red curry paste. Super hot. Please read the blog post about that particular ingredient. All this stuff is available at regular, normal, large American supermarkets. So don't think there's anything in here you're not going to be able to find. All right, I'm going to throw in a quart of cold water. I'm going to toss in a couple bay leaves, a teaspoon of coriander, a splash of fish sauce, and some tomato paste. I have no idea why I spread the tomato paste over the corned beef before I stirred it in. There was no reason for that. Although that's a perfect example of why cooking's fun. All right, we're going to put that on high heat. We're going to bring it up to a simmer. Anytime we're simmering meat, as you well know, if any kind of foamy stuff comes to the top, skim it off. So that's what I did. I'm going to add a mirepoix, which is just fancy French cooking term for celery, carrots, onions. Now I want these pieces to be recognizable in the end product. I don't feel like adding them towards the end. I want to cook them all the way through. So I cut them in nice big chunks. All right, so once my veggies are in and this comes to a simmer, I'm going to back the heat down to low, cover, and cook for three hours. Now halfway through, I like to flip it over. You don't have to, but I do. I'm going to put the lid back on and continue cooking. So that is three hours altogether, simmering on low, covered. At that point, we're going to uncover, all right? The corned beef is getting close, but it's not quite done yet. I'm going to add my yellow potatoes. I'm using Yukon Gold. Any potato works. I cut up half a green cabbage in big chunks. I'm going to poke that down into the broth. So we're going to continue to cook until the cabbage is soft and sweet and the potatoes are tender. So maybe 35, 40 minutes. You decide. Check it after a half hour. At that point, we're going to pull the meat out of the broth. You're definitely going to want to taste this broth for seasoning. Depending on how salty the corned beef was, you may or may not need salt. All right, you're also definitely going to want to check for spiciness. All right, that red curry paste is hot, but we didn't use that much. So if you want it spicier, add a little more of that, or cayenne, of course. And there we go. Before we serve this, we're going to trim off any excess fat from the top. Now, very important, find the grain. See those fibers? See how they're running that way? We have to slice across the grain. By the way, I don't like the term against the grain. Against the grain sounds like, I don't know, an old Rage Against the Machine song. All right, so we're going to slice this across the grain. Nice, thin pieces. Man, that looks good. To serve this up, we're going to ladle some of those veggies with that delicious, slightly spicy coconut broth into a bowl. Top it with our perfectly across the grain sliced corned beef. So beautiful and delicious. Now, you can certainly eat this with a fork, but for me, I'm going to go with a spoon. Not only do I want to be able to eat the chunks, I also want to be able to taste that beautiful, beautiful coconut milk broth. I didn't have any, and I was a little afraid, to be honest, but if you wanted to add some fresh chopped cilantro to this, probably would be really good. And this is one of those recipes, as I was making it, I was thinking, you're such an idiot. This is never going to work. You just wasted a perfectly good corned beef. But happily, it came out better than I thought it would. Super great change of pace. Anyway, I hope you give this a try. All the ingredients are on the site, as usual. And as always, enjoy.